This is um, Eunice Okerman's property, and we're going to be doing a cleanup just to get things ready for springtime. And um, there's just some pruning that needs to be done, removal of weeds, leaves, stuff like that. So starting here, these uh, camellias, we're going to get them down to about three feet high. There's one, two, three, and then four right here. We're gonna prune that. There are some leaves in the planter beds here. We're gonna blow these leaves out. Um, and then also right here, there's a rose vine that is growing on this trellis right here. So we need to push the plants back towards the trellis and then clean the top up right there. It's starting to grow up onto the neighbor's plants. So um, clean the top up and then the Fotinias from the neighbor, some of them are le leaning over. So we need to use our hedge, uh, uh, pole hedger and then we're gonna clean up the tops as high as we can reach, which should be about 12 feet, I believe, 10 or 12 feet. We'll clean that up. There's some leaves in here. We're gonna go through and blow them out. Um, there's some branches sticking out here. We're probably gonna trim some of these off right here just for clearance. Uh, this bush right here, um, we need to prune it away from the pathway and then about fence height, maybe a, a bit lower. So these spontaneous as well need to get trimmed. Um, just going through pretty much all of these leaves here. We're gonna blow them out the best we can and then clean up the piles on the bottom. This rosemary, we wanna prune it back away from the pathway and then uh, clean up the top a little bit, light pruning on the top. These, um, we don't need to do anything on the top. They look good the way they are. Walking in through here, um, majority of the ground cover, we're gonna leave it. The only reason we'll prune a little bit if it's starting to grow into plants, we'll kind of prune them back a little bit and that's it. Everything else here can be left alone, just the leaves. And then the ornamental grasses, we're gonna cut them down as low as we can so they can come back fresh for the springtime. This ground cover, leave it alone, don't touch it. Um, so once again, leaves. So there are some poppies that are spread throughout the whole yard. Also these ornamental grasses, all of them are cutting all the way down, but the poppies, we are going to use a string trimmer to knock them as low as we reasonably can and then rake out the green waste. And then we'll spray the, the rest with a weed killer to kill them off. Um, so along with the poppies, this is what they look like. There are some of these plants. I forget the name of these already. But um, we're gonna knock these down as well. And then allow, you know, careful with other plants like this. So some more weeds in there that need to get treated. Um, these poppies, this one in particular, this uh, group of plants right here, we're gonna leave it alone. Okay, sages. Um, sages one two three four we're gonna cut them down into um much smaller plants so probably like around a foot high yeah a foot high so they can grow back fresh for springtime and then um we are cleaning up all of these poppies and all of these weeds but just to point out between uh, after these two plants, there's also some poppies growing in there. We're going to leave those alone. We're not going to do anything with them. The client asked us to leave them alone. Walking over here. Clean up these um, lavenders. Prune the back. Remove some of the dead plants off of it. So this uh, bay leaf hedge, we're going to trim it back like this and then cut it on the top to fence height. Some leaves in here that need to get blown out so going on here we're gonna leave all of the leaves alone that's like a more of a natural area and these gardenias we don't need to do much pruning all we need to do is cut the height of them to about this high so a foot or a foot and a half down from the eave right here is what we need to prune everything else in this area we're gonna leave alone I'm just gonna walk over here So all of this right here, we can leave alone. We'll, we'll probably blow out those leaves right here and here. We'll check with the client, blow out these leaves, but the rest we're gonna leave alone. A 
all this we can just leave it alone probably just blow off the patio but the rest is fine nothing to do in this front yard except one area at the bottom of the driveway there are some lantanas growing and we need to um, prune them so that they are not hanging over the rock wall So the only thing we're gonna do in the front yard is this right here, this lantana plant. And we're gonna cut it back right here like that. So just like that. So none of this is leaning over, that's it.